You read that right. Brokolance is coming to an end, and this is me visiting the server for the last time before it closes. I wondered how I ended up here in the first place. I remembered when the community was playful and active with their close friends and favorite staff members. Not only that, but it was full of ideas. They created several unique games before any other server had come up with those ideas. That's not all. No, I recall my time when I was there and wanted to meet new friends, but I was shy back then until people approached me to introduce myself. Many of us in that community became popular as more people came. During my time there, I started my channel. I knew I said that. I accidentally created my channel, and I didn't want to leave it be, so I decided to make my videos for myself, which is nice once you heard a part of my story. Many other people who also make videos related to Brooklyn's, mostly in 2018. People created content there and gained a lot of views as subscribers. Other than YouTube, what about the community? Behind that, it was full of toxic people. Many teenagers came to this place and ruined the surface's reputation, including ours. I tried to endure and kept making videos, and I was glad that I had supporters on my side. Later in that year, in 2019, I finally moved out to Hive. These are the only good ones I have in my memory. If you wonder if I ever had at least a bad or a dark memory, honestly, if I were you, I would share them. It's okay to open up to someone who you trust, but for me, my story, I could open up to anyone for now because it is now history. I wanted to become a good person, but I felt like I'm not. For some reason, I play a lot and try to win as much as possible. Plus, my negative feelings have been putting on drama most of the times. I knew that it wasn't just me; anybody else had been doing this experience as well. I felt like I don't even hang out with friends for most of my time grinding wins. Is that worth it? Well, I don't think so anymore. The server is already closed. The achievements I had hard work for were worthless. Hundreds of my friend list added to my friend list drifted apart, including several of my old best friends. These times I remembered, I already regret not hanging out with them. I wish I had played with them more. Understandably, we have already grown up so much older. I'm about to become a grown up this year. The painful memory stays in your heart, but you feel better as you get older. Am I the only one who felt like this? I hope not. Back to the community. I honestly have made a wise decision to move somewhere better, something I like, something that the server will improve more. Many people said that brokenness is terrible, but I just think it's the people who ruined it since 2018. The staff members have tried their best to help out with the solution. I have seen many people sabotaging their friends or even anyone to get rid of their enemies. I felt disappointed and frustrated that I couldn't stand the people that made their move like this. What kind of monkeys were they? Back in my old days, people were kind to each other and occasionally caused accidents. We played games for fun. But it didn't matter if we lost. Not just the staffs, 
but other amazing OG players or YouTubers that I met, such as Marte, Fryzum, Zayden, DJ, Jabril, and much more. If you haven't read it, the link is in the description below. The owner had no choice but to find a way to make the server different from any other servers. I heard that they don't want to copy other servers and decided to make their gameplay. Maybe that's why it was unique back in 2016 as it started there because the block party game was so popular. A few years passed and they made things even weirder. And the worst thing I would think about is the version and crossplay. Yes. You can play the server in Java, yet it was another failure. Many times they tried their best, but nothing much seemed to improve. That was where the owner decided to take his final step. Close the server forever. They have been running in low money and no one could donate the server to save it. It was already hard for him to continue, and he couldn't handle all the negative feedback since the time it happened. He held back the pain for so long that he was brave enough to shut it down. We should be thankful to Fritz for giving us a good experience with new games and good memories. Anyways, it is okay if you are upset to hear Brooklyn's has been closed forever. It's now the past, the history, the memory of Brooklyn's that will never be forgotten. Sincerely, the OG, me.